yesterday actually and it's about a specific genre coming for coming to the switch i mean it would make perfect sense it's, it's perfect for the switch for its tv mode for its portability factor its split joy cons the multiplayer i'm just saying that how awesome would it be to bring this game to the switch look at this motherfucker all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh give my first impressions um of the game um, I can confidently say that it is a lot of fun. I mean, I'm going to be super biased just because like, I'm House of the Dead fan. So, I mean, that's what this game is for. This game is definitely for the House of the Dead fans. I don't think it's for any newcomers. Um, I only say that just because a lot of people don't play gyro controls. A lot of people who are not used to those things. And, you know, like, like gun stuff is just a thing of the past. And a lot of people are not used to it. So um a lot of people can see these type of games like repetitive and boring unlike me i love this game for its music its atmosphere its sound design everything about the original i just love even house of the dead 2 and with the remake it's just that but remade and i like everything about it i guess we can talk about like the big elephant in the room and that's graphics this shows that this game was on a budget for sure um i feel like sega just gave um the studio certain amount of budget to work around with and it kind of shows especially since they're working around the switch hardware you can't do much with the switch hardware in terms of detail graphical fidelity um lighting and i think some of the lighting stuff in here is pretty cool i like that it's kind of bloomy and i kind of like that it's atmospheric and stuff uh i like the sound design i like that they kept a lot of the stuff from the original especially the whole reload 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 sound every time you run out of uh ammo Think that's super badass uh the music's great too i like the remade music i don't have a problem with it i think it's still catchy i think it's still fun like i said it's it's it really comes down to how they redo house of the dead 2 i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same as this engine i'm pretty sure they're gonna use a unity and stuff but i know they lost the source code to house of the dead 1 so they literally had to make it from the ground up i know house of the dead 2 source code is still out there just because they were able to port it back to the wii so that's my main curiosity right now is just where's house of the dead 2 what's house of the dead 2 remake is going to look like it's going to look like this which more than likely it will um i guess some of the things i could say that um could use some work is performance of course the performance is not all that great uh, i'm gonna be straight up like that um there's a performance mode it works well enough for the most part but man that third stage is rough in the performance like it is it's stuttery it's it's kind of harsh and especially if you're using gyro, um, gyro, you need to, you need it at a steady 30, like 30, 60 FPS for it to be like at least decent. You know what I mean? Because if you try to use gyro on things like fucking Apex Legends on Switch, dude, that, that, sh that shit's rough considering the frame rate. It's kind of almost unresponsive. Yeah, I can, f I can see how it's kind of finicky with the gyro controls with paired with the performance issues. Of course, if you clean up those performance issues, you know we're good to go and i think the gyro that i guess that's another big thing on how this game controls because i think that's what everybody was waiting for when this game came out is how is this game gonna control um is it just fully analog sticks is it gonna be touchscreen support which there isn't uh as i've heard um things like that you know um i think for the most part the gyro is pretty well it's pretty good i don't think it's bad I think I've had worse games use implement gyro controls in much worse ways. I think this is totally usable. I personally don't think it's bad. I think it's responsive. I think it's great. Um, of course it's gyro, so gyro is never gonna beat you know the sensor bar or like CRTs in terms of precision because you're always gotta be recalibrating and make sure that everything is well. And that and I think that's the harder part to get your head adjusted to is the reload button and the reset button. Uh, during the game, there was a point where I just didn't reset gyro at all. I think it's because I played this game very weird. Um, the way I play this game is like, okay, so you're using single joy con. Uh, it's this pretty small device. So if you have kind of big hands, I don't have like the hugest hands ever, but that's, that's a comparison right there. It's kind of hard to just pew, pew, pew all day. I mean, that's, that makes sense. This is fine, but you still got to remember the ergonomics of the joy con. Joy con is going to cramp your hand up. 
exactly what happened. My hand is getting fucking cramping up. Ow! So the B buttons to reload, Y is to reset. So you can do both at the same time if you'd like to. So I guess that's kind of a smart way for them to implement it. But I don't know why there's not a... No, that would... No. Take that. I'll take that back. I don't think there's a way to successfully do a reset gyro and reload at the same time. I'm kind of sad there's no way we could implement shoot off the screen or look down to reload. Um, I hate that it has to be mapped to a button. Like, I miss the days where you can just go pew, 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 move, move down, pew, 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 move down. I miss that feeling. And I think if you, if I really upload this footage, I think you actually might see me do it a couple times. Controls can be um, a little wonky at times, but I think it takes a lot to get used to. And once you get used to it, dude, you'll like start, start pulling moves and stuff. I'm just an idiot. So I actually started playing the whole game with the right Joy-Con on my left hand, just mashing the shit out of this trigger because i love doing that for light gun games so that's just a me thing and of course doing this for like 10 5 minutes straight is going to cramp the shit out of your hand which did happen but that's not the game's fault it's kind of just a peripheral thing because even in the arcades i hurt myself playing those games so it's been a thing since the original the hand cramps are still there <laughs> so first impressions i really like it i'm definitely going to be playing it a lot um I kind of used to the controls already. Um, I think for my first playthrough, I did, I did all right. I feel like I can get better at it. Um, but yeah, like if they can go in and just like uh, readjust the performance and just optimize it a little bit more with some patches, I think it could, I can do, I think it does the, the controls more justice. You know what I mean? Uh, one of my main gripes for the game right now is that there's no way to change your cursor. You're just stuck with that super small thin one. And I don't like that. I'm glad that you can change the color and the like the thickness of the outline and stuff, but I want a different cursor. I'm I don't know. There's something about it being a circle just makes more sense to me. I like it when it's a circle. Forever Forever Entertainment, if you're listening, I would love some cursor options. Yeah, that's like my biggest gripe. Biggest gripe is just performance can cause um, controls to be a little finicky and um, cursor options. But I like the, how they give you a lot of options for the gyro controls, like the dead zone, the sensitivity. But man, the sensitivity is kind of high for the lowest. I mean, just for the default, but it goes down to the decibel level. So you can do it to work. It's your liking. But I think at just the default, I think you can get used to it. I liked it a lot. Um, this isn't like an official review. I guess this is just more of a first impressions because I'm, I'm only played the game for an hour. And I'm not the biggest House of the Dead enthusiast when it comes to the first title. We can talk about that when House of the Dead 2 Remake comes out because I played that game to fucking death. I still haven't even gotten into like having to unlock all the shotgun stuff and the submachine, all the extra cool stuff they added in the remake. You know what I mean? We haven't even got into that stuff yet. And I'm I'm going to love unlocking all of it and just like redoing the game because I can play this game for forever. But yeah, House of the Dead. Um, if I can give it a quick rating right now. Um, shit, what would I give it? I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10 right now. Because I think they did a pretty good job, but of course, there's not a lot of things that are amazing about it. But I think for what it is, I think it's still very fun. 7 out of 10. I'm a little biased. A little bit. Just a little bit.